I'm joking hey guys welcome back to another video and happy new year welcome to my first video of 2021 i cannot express how amazing i have enjoyed 2020 i've been filming since i think around april april mayish time i'm not too sure around those times and i've been enjoying every bit of it so bring on 2021 and bring on all the good stuff so guys, in today's video, it's going to be get ready with me. So I have woken up, I've had breakfast, I'm going to quickly do my bed and then you're going to come with me, get ready because I've got a few things to do today. It's my daddy's birthday. It's my daddy's birthday. Honestly, after the year he had last year, I am so, so grateful that he sees another birthday, that he sees another year. His birthday is on the 2nd of January and I am so, so happy and I feel so, so grateful, guys, today that he's still here with us. He's had a very, very rough year, very rough and let's just give all the good energy to him. Like I was saying, <laughs> we um, you're going to get ready with me and we're going to talk about a few things that I want to leave behind in 2021. This is not trends. These are not things that are happening. Please do not mind my um clothes the drying over there but yeah this is not like um or you know trends that we should leave in 2020 um no if you are looking for that video this is not the video what the video i'm going to be doing today is things that i want to leave in 2020 are things going to be um more about i don't know energy and positivity and just things that we need to realize that we're doing to ourselves that are harming maybe the way our life is going and the way we feel about life so that's my focus today guys i'm just going to quickly drop to my bed and i'll be back so guys the first thing i want to do is do my hair i'm just going to put it up in a bun because um i didn't wash it yet i don't want to wash it yet i washed it like two days ago i don't want to wash it just yet so i'm just going to put it up in a bun get it out of my face because it's a bit greasy and stuff so that's what i'm going to do please do not look at me for hair tutorials and things like that guys because right now i'm not going to be that that's not the point of this video okay it's not the point of this video so let's head straight into the first thing we need to leave in 2020 first thing negativity guys last year when i started in 2020 i am a guilty person of this 2020 i was so positive like i started the year so positive it was insane how positive i started i was like all good like me and even um moved back into this house we was away from it for a few months because they were doing the flooring and then we moved back i was really positive went barcelona i was super happy and then covid hit my dad got sick and negativity just start running a lot like a lot because throughout the year it wasn't only covid guys like but covid had a big impact in it because covid basically stopped me from doing a lot of the stuff that made me then negative especially towards the wedding like i had so many things planned um to do for the wedding this year and i well not this year last year and i couldn't do it due to covid and that really bugged me because every time i was thought i was like two steps forward i was just like another 10 back and it got really really annoying but then i realized that i was making it worse because the negativity that i was feeding to myself and to my brain and to my soul and to the people around me it was what was making it worse so guys believe in what i say do not think negative put the negative stuff all back because trust me when you think positive it might not happen straight away but the more positive you start thinking believe me things do change guys so let's leave the negativity back i know sometimes in life that's all we can think of is being negative but let's leave it let's 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 leave it in 2020 every time you want to think about being negative let's just think about the good stuff we have in life guys because trust me a lot of stuff around us can be very very negative but there's always that one thing we can think about that we're like you know what at least i have this or at least i've got this or at least i'm doing this so guys let's be positive in 2021 guys that i think a lot of us do um and i feel like it's something we need to stop doing and we need to leave it again 2020 is definitely comparing ourselves to other people i feel like a lot of us just focus so much on like what other people have and like oh my god she's this age and look what she's doing and i'm still not there guys let's let's stop comparing yourselves because look 
I just feel like we all have a different path and you might not be exactly where that person is but you have something else that person doesn't have or you've accomplished something else that that person has not yet accomplished because we are all very quick to put all the good stuff on social media so we put all the amazing things we achieve but none of us put the stuff of how we get there or what we had to give up maybe to get there or what we had to do to get there or what we had to sacrifice to get there or just how we got there in general it's really rare for people to put that part up obviously we put up all the good stuff especially like me I, I, I speak in my behalf because I love to keep like the good energy you know even though I am quite a negative thinker especially in 2020 I was a very big negative thinker when it gets to my social medias I don't really like to put all the negative stuff there I just stick to like the good stuff but at times I forget to show you guys truly how it took me and, and, and what I did to get there. And I feel like that's a big thing. So do not compare yourself to no one else. Look at me. My friends are more way older than me. Okay, when I say way, I'm basically the youngest. I think I've got like one or two really, really close friends that are similar age to me. But the rest are super older than me. And guys, we they're obviously going to be way more ahead of me than I am. But maybe they're not. You know, there's certain things that I have maybe accomplished way younger than maybe what they've accomplished at my age or vice versa. Um, so please, please, please do not think just because you're not there at that time like everyone else around you is means anything because that don't matter. It really, really, really just doesn't matter. For example, me as well. I never thought of getting married at the age that I'm getting married. I always thought I was going to get married. Well, when I was younger, I was like, oh my God, I want to get married when I'm 21. But then once you get older, you realise, no, you don't want to get married when you're 21. And I always thought, okay, I'm going to get married around 30, 31. That's always the age I thought I was going to get married. And look, I'm probably going to get married 26, hopefully not 27, because I, I want my wedding this year. So I'm probably going to get married when I'm 26. And I never thought that. So don't think that just because you are like you're not exactly the same as someone else or you're not on the steps because you're similar age or you're older than them and you feel like you're being a bit less behind trust me god has a plan for all of us we are all going to get to where we have to get when we need to get there and that's it guys that's all you have to think about everything happens for a reason if you're not there yet you will be there and if you want to get there then maybe push yourself a little bit more to get there so don't stress much about that guys okay let's not compare ourselves let's live now let's live in our own skin in our own life let's live the present and let's stop worrying about what other people are doing or where they get there be happy for them um praise them and just 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 yeah just be happy with your journey and where life is going to take hey guys the next thing that we have to start doing in 2021 is having realistic goals um have goals that you know you can achieve and won't really make you feel disappointed if you don't get there so realistic goals because i always say that small steps are better than no steps in that what sense i mean is for example like when i was losing my weight in 2020 i had this big thing that i was going to lose like so many like kilos in the space of like a month two months and then i just realized that no it doesn't matter if i don't lose five kilos in two in a month as long as i lose one or two it's good it's really good it still means that we're doing what we're meant to be doing so set yourself small goals to reach the big goal that's how basically i'm going to start doing in 2021 and another example i can share there guys is for example youtube when um i started doing youtube i was always so like stressed out again comparing myself to a lot of people when i started and like oh my gosh why am i not there yet you know why don't i have these amount of subscribers people don't like to see this is like right right in the beginning this is like the first month i started youtube like i i don't know what i thought i just thought like you know oh my god we're gonna get there super quick duh, 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 duh. and then i just realized you know what that doesn't matter what matters is if you have at least one or two people that actually actually want to see your stuff and actually you're helping someone out there somewhere somehow that's absolutely what matters and like i said my journey is not the same as everyone else's so again all of these kind of link to basically what i was doing in 2020 that i realized wasn't good for me but this was in the right the beginning guys after i just realized that 
I'm going to do my journey and I'm going to do it the way I feel happy about. I don't get there in a year, but I get there in two, three years. I'll still be happy. I still work really hard. I'm still very consistent. So it doesn't matter. I'm probably doing more than what other people are doing and they're getting way more subscribers than me. So it doesn't really matter. What matters, guys, is as I said, set yourself small little goals so you can reach that big, big goal. And, you know, don't, don't, don't make your, don't force yourself to having such big goals if you get what I mean, and then feeling so disappointed with yourself when you don't reach them. I just don't see what's the point in that. I think it's just better doing it bit by bit and then get it to the big goal at the end. The next thing, guys, I would definitely say that we need to start doing in 2021. Please not look at me the way I'm doing my makeup, guys. I don't know nothing about makeup, boy. <laughs> nothing. I hardly even put The next goal, guys, I feel like we definitely need to start doing in 2021 is be you but be kind to people guys be kind be nice remember that everyone has different paths and everyone goes through different things in life and i know a lot of people are like oh that's so cliche to say yeah it's so cliche but it's the truth it is the truth we all go through so many different stuff it's just unfair of us to judge one another without knowing exactly where people what people are doing and how people you know are feeling and things like that let's remember no matter what be kind if, if even if it's someone that truly hurt you and trust me i've had people last year that hurt me to the core like they, they 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 hurt me so much that until today i'm so shocked but i don't wish any harm on them i'm still kind of them if i see them i'll still probably say hi but that's it let's just be kind and let's be bigger than those people or people that are harming you or people that are doing things that you don't like always be bigger than them and just kill them with kindness like people say kill them with kindness eh? <laughs> but um yeah guys let's be kind and let's be nice to one another um in 2021 because i felt like 2020 was a kick in the butt for so many of us and we need to remind ourselves that things will get better um all bad things and all good things come to an end so yeah guys let's remember that another one that i think we all should do is don't wait and just go for it um i also learned that in 2020 um you know i did that in 2020 and it just helped me um do it but there's still a lot of stuff that i want to do and i've been speaking about it and when i tell ivan i don't really want to say much about it but the things that i want to do is things that obviously like need investment in it and obviously i'm quite worried to invest i'm always that person like i'm a gemini i change my mind all the time and it's, it's very bad but that's just the way i am and that's just the way I work and one day I'll be like yeah, yeah yeah I'm gonna do it today and then it will get to the time that I'm like it's just like because I'm buying clothes I'm like yeah today I'm gonna spend money I'm gonna buy myself and then it gets to like the checkout part and I'm like no I'm not gonna waste that sort of money that's just basically how I am and I've realized that I need to st stop being different because look with YouTube like last year I was so skeptical to start it I started it and now I love it like I wouldn't change this for the world like I love doing this this is so fun like I would I, do you know what I mean like I just love it I won't give it up I'll never give it up this is this is just what I like to do and I feel like that's what I have to do with the other stuff that I want to do I just have to go for it I stop thinking too much about it so yeah guys stop thinking too much about it and just do it let's just do it in 2021 let's let's smash it like sometimes that's what we have to do in life we need to risk we need to take risks and bit by bit bit by bit i am taking some risks in life but i hope in 2021 i do the risks that i've wanted to do since 2020 and i haven't done them because i'm too skeptical another thing that i also realized in um 2020 and i feel like i'm gonna start doing it much more now we're in 20 um 21 is doing more things in silence um what do i mean about this i'm i don't mean like hide it from the world hide it from your parents no what i mean is i've realized that there's so many people in the world even the people that you think are your closest friends are actually people that don't want to see you achieve and develop um trust me i feel like not even just 2020 guys i'm talking about like life in general obviously in 2020 like i, I still have my same circle of friends and i'm really happy about that and stuff but i'm talking about just in life like in life i've realized that there's people that don't want the best for you you think they do but they don't so trust me do your stuff do your planning your achievements some of them do it in silence because i feel like sometimes the people around you can bring i don't want to say negativity but the thoughts that they bring sometimes can affect 
that thing that you want to achieve so think really well before you tell or who you're telling what your achievements are once they're done i mean spread it to the world tell everyone and also as well it's more like at least if you don't achieve it or you don't do it it's not so much like oh now i have to tell everyone that i didn't do it sort of thing so it, it's, it's beneficial for you and it's beneficial as well for the people around you so guys another thing that we definitely need to leave in 2020 is drama guys let's get rid of that drama let's leave it there i hope all of you guys left it in, 30, in, in on the 31st of december we left it there and we're not bringing it back and every time there's drama you turn away and you look away and you forget about it we forget about drama we, we don't want it anymore we, we don't want it in our spirit we don't want it around us okay guys let's not forget let's get rid of drama because drama can bring you down so so much guys let's leave it there i'm leaving it there i'm not touching it i'm not gonna mm -mm, mm -mm. it's staying there guys it's staying i'm not going there anymore it's done it's dusted and that's where i want it to stay i don't want it to bring it with me and it's staying there let's stop with the drama guys so guys i'm practically done i've done my hair it doesn't look that great i've done my makeup i'm just gonna quickly get dressed and i'm gonna so guys that is it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um and yeah guys these are just the little things that for me personally i feel like i am going definitely go into and have left let's change that because we're already in the new year i have left all that negative stuff aside to the other side i don't want it in my life right now um but yes guys thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys have a fab year don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys and join my 2021 journey i'm getting married this year hopefully fingers crossed so there's so many exciting videos coming your way hopefully if everything goes to plan but yeah thank you guys all so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys